Every Monday at 4, we're taking you inside the Fox 10 News Vault. It's an archive of stories taking you down memory lane with Fox 10. The University of South Alabama was recently awarded a nearly $500,000 grant to expand its global studies programs. Well, as we see in this latest throwback, growth and expansion are something the university has aimed for since its earliest days. Reporter Cheryl Myers takes you back to the late 70s for this one. There is presently nearly $12 million in overall construction funds tied into expansions at the University of South Alabama. The money has come from several different avenues, through the Alabama State Legislature, state-approved bond sales, and from university bond sales. From the Office of Development and Operations, we found out about some of the present programs underway. We uh, have further changes in our medical sciences building to make it more functional. We have under uh, way now the plans and specifications for a new engineering building, uh, which will be constructed in the area of our existing building, and uh, we're looking at some $3 million there. Uh, our track, our 400-meter uh, track, uh, is uh, being progressed uh, quite rapidly now, and uh, we're in hopes of uh, completing the surfacing this year. One of the more significant additions to the campus is the Tolman House, initially built back in 1828. It is the oldest recorded home intact in our area and will be the site of the school's first class reunion next month. It is without a doubt the expansions on this campus, as you have seen, have only gone to upgrade the educational process. It also shows us that the University of South Alabama is up and on its way to being one of the biggest educational facilities in the Southeast. This is Cheryl Myers at the University of South Alabama for Channel 10 Newsbeat. Wow, it's fun to look back at how the university has grown. We're going inside the Fox 10 News Vault every Monday on Fox 10 News at 4. You can rewatch the News Vault stories on the Fox 10 YouTube channel. We post the newest one every Monday after it airs on Fox 10 News at 4.